In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up Facebook's Pixel for your Shopify business through the Shopify native integration. Let's jump into a screen share now and I'll show you exactly where you need to click within Shopify and the Facebook Business Manager to get your Pixel set up. To actually install a Pixel, what you want to do is first of all go to Business Manager and go to your data sources and go to events manager. So right here, data sources, and you wanna click connect a data source. So first you wanna do website and then get started, Facebook pixel, click connect. Yeah, so from here, this is what you wanna do. You wanna create a name for the actual pixel. I've already actually created one, so I'm not gonna bother showing you guys this step, but simply just you know follow the instructions. Once you're here, you're gonna see continue pixel setup. So if you already have a pixel that's just not really installed, uh, what you wanna do is just go to here, click the right pixel, and then go to continue pixel setup, Facebook pixel connect, and then you could, uh, there's two options, right? You can either add the code manually yourself or you can use a partner integration, which is much, much easier. Like if you're a Shopify store, WooCommerce business or whatever, like just use the partner integration. Click the Shopify one online, and then you wanna go to Shopify. It doesn't really give you the instructions for this, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this in your Shopify store. So what you wanna do is, once you're on your uh, Shopify store, this is just a demo account that I've created for the purposes of this video. You wanna click sales channels. Uh, make sure you have Facebook added. So you can see I've already had Facebook added, so I don't need to do this step. But if you don't see Facebook right here, you wanna just click this little plus button, and then you wanna go and find uh, Facebook. Then you want to go to Facebook, scroll all the way down to Facebook marketing, create free paid ads on Facebook, start setup. And here you want to connect your Facebook account. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Continue as Boyan, connect your Facebook. Okay. Um, and then the next step is you want to connect the business manager. Make sure you connect the correct business manager. So you can see that this is actually the correct one. And instead of this, this was created late on in the year when I rebranded the agency. Uh, so yeah, connect the right business manager right here. And you want to connect the right ad account as well. So I believe it's this one, the Plethora Limited. Uh, view and accept cut terms. So you just want to click here, accept terms. I believe there should be a button, accept, there you go. Click done. So I'm just going to connect uh, for the sake of this video. I'm just going to connect my agency page. For data sharing, you always want to put on maximum. This is basically enables conversions API, allows the Shopify API to match data to the Facebook data. And this way, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like uh, combat against iOS 14 update. And once you do this, click here, personal details, disconnect, enable customer data sharing. Oh, oops. You want to click enable, click this, and then for here, make sure you connect the right pixel right here. If you connect the wrong one, you're just not going to get the data, right? You're going to click confirm. And for the target country, you want to select the whatever country that you predominantly sell in. So for most of you watching this video, I'm guessing this will be United States. However, if you're selling within, for example, United Kingdom or whatever, uh, you wanna put your target country. The reason why you wanna do this is because this will help Facebook actually find the right audiences that fits your needs. Because if you put United States, but sell predominantly within the UK, this won't help you because most of your, your lookalikes will be based on US audiences as opposed to United Kingdom audiences. Once you select the target country, click accept and click finish setup. So once you're done with that, you wanna go back to Facebook and actually confirm this. So click got it and then go back to events manager. I've completed setup. What's what's it gonna do is you're gonna put in your URL here and uh, you wanna just send some test traffic. So just click that, sending test traffic and you're just gonna be waiting for the activity. You can also see here, using Facebook Pixels Helper. You're gonna see that page view is already installed, Shop Plethora, Shopify Demo Pixel. Uh, and then let's try going on to a product page. Super Saiyan email hacks. And you can see here, view content is already installed as well. No doubt if I click add to cart, there's gonna be an add to cart pixel as well. So you're gonna see that everything is active, click next. Uh, and then you wanna do verify your events and events manager. So you could actually go ahead and test that. But generally speaking, you just hit finish. <laughs> Booyah, you're ready for conversion ads on your Facebook ad account. So thank me later or whatever you want. 
Small caveat, when you're sending test data, it might show as uh, no activity or inactive. Just wait a few hours and try it again. Sometimes it just takes a while for the changes to propagate throughout the servers or whatever. So just make sure you're giving it some time if it doesn't load straight away. And hope you found this video useful.